Hello, my name is John Thorne from Thorny Motorsport, and this is a video about the most exciting subject of batteries. Now, batteries and car batteries aren't overly exciting, but if you own a McLaren, you will get used to the concept because they can be a pain in the ass. Now, there are pain in the ass two reasons. Number one is that McLaren issues electronically nearly all could be traded down to now the batteries go flat. Keep them topped up, keep them charged up, you'll really have a problem. But let the car go flat a lot, you will generate lots of issues going longer term. So that's a tip, easy to avoid, keep them charged. The second aspect about batteries, for McLaren especially, is that they are hideously expensive, but also prone to some price gouging around the world. This is a Gen 3, as they call it, McLaren battery. Fits on models, it's the latest version to have. You have different brackets sometimes of pain, but that's the latest version. This retail in the UK is 1,800 pounds, okay? About $1,900, okay? Now, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is that we have heard some stories of people having to pay five, six, or even seven thousand US dollars for one of these things. Okay, I don't care how bad it is to ship; it is not a seven thousand dollar battery. Okay, it's a two thousand dollar battery, and the reason why this is a pain in the ass is because people try to gouge prices on parts, which is wrong. So, the downside also of this is supply can be a bit hit and miss. Now, one reason I'm doing this video is we had a call from a customer in the UK a few days ago saying his car had been beached at a McLaren dealership because they couldn't get hold of a new battery because they were back order. Now, this is our spare battery, okay? This is a battery we have in-house here for the very purpose of lending it out to people if they really do get stuck and they can't actually get a battery short term. Um, and it's only for days at a time, so don't try and lend it out for months at a time. And the reason we don't need to lend it months at a time is because there is a way you can actually swap your hyper expensive lithium ion battery from McLaren for a good old boring lead acid battery here, which I have here. Okay, that's so now for a of things. This will work in your McLaren. Now, it's not rocket science, this. In actual fact, I can't even claim any credit for this because it actually is a, beer, a, a Mercedes field remedy note in their system about how to swap your battery from lead acid, from, from lithium ion to lead acid, okay? And I'm gonna put a link in the video here and there'll be a link in the YouTube site as well and there's gonna be a page on the site how to do it. It does need a diagnostic kit. Doesn't necessarily need a McLaren Deer diagnostic kit. We can do it with our kit as can our dealers in Boston, in Scottsdale, Munich and in North New Zealand. All we can is reprogram. And what you have to do is go to the car and deprogram out the battery management system that runs a lithium ion battery. Just take it out, get rid of it. Then you sort the batteries for lead acid battery, plug it in, car's fine. It actually doesn't any issue at all. All you lose is the battery management system, i.e. telling them how, you died, how many days left you've got in your battery, which frankly is crap anyway, because it's at best the guess, okay? So if you're in a situation where you can't get hold of a lithium ion battery, or your local supplier is basically screwing to the floor for pricing of it, Ignore it, all right? You will need a diagnostic kit of some kind, so our system does it, MDS does it as well, but you can swap your hyper expensive battery for a cheap and cheerful lead acid battery and the car can run as normal, okay? You won't lose any functions, you won't lose any performance of the car. Yes, you're gonna gain about eight kilos of weight. No offense, it's a 1700 kilo car. If you can tell eight kilos in front of the car, you're a better driver than I am and I'd set up cars for a living. So it's worth having in terms of the performance side of it for weight. Is it that big a deal? No. And is it worth $7,000 worth of a big deal on a road car? No, it's not. Okay? So it's something to consider. There are other bits of kit you can buy, 1000 bucks to emulate various bits. Don't, you don't need to. Go for a lead acid battery with a programming system and you'll be good to go. All right? Hope that's useful. That's the phone going. Someone trying to get in, no doubt. Okay? Thanks for watching. Cheers.